Welcome back guys. Today we are going to be moving back into the van. We're heading across the channel and on to the next adventure. Hey everyone, long time no see. We are about to set off on a brand new adventure in the van. Those of you who are new around here, our van is called Labamba and we lived in it for three years, travelled all over Europe, Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Life story incoming. <laughs> the van has been stuck in a muddy field for about four months on a campsite. We finally got it out last week. We passed the MOT and now she can finally be roadworthy again. We are about to embark across the channel and we're heading into Europe for a really exciting road trip all around the Alps. We haven't been living in our van recently, so we've actually filled our car with all of the things we want to take with us. It's the first time we've ever been on a van trip without like everything we own in the van, which is really nice. So we actually can pack a bit more minimally, pack exactly what we want for this trip. I think it's going to be a game changer because van life can be quite hectic. Today is actually a glorious day, but this is like the first really sunny, nice day we've had in so long. Our plan originally was to live in the van over winter, but we were in this muddy field and it was raining every single Day. Every time you stepped out of the van, you'd be like up to your knees in mud. And so, yeah, we decided to rent somewhere. Uh, and it's actually been really nice. Yeah. It's been so nice to have a base. And also, we, like, we're still renting it. So it's going to be more expensive while we're traveling because we're also paying rent. I'm so excited. And uh, I've got that like first time traveling excitement, which is really cool. Yeah, me too. All right, just going around a tight corner. Today is Monday. The van passed its MOT on Friday. And then yesterday, we booked a ferry for tomorrow. <laughs> so the van is in a bit of a state. It's been left in a muddy field over winter, but we have to get this van from storage mode into livable today. We've got an early crossing from Portsmouth and that's about a five hour drive from Cornwall. I'm feeling a bit nervous about going back in the van. I'm excited, but also like, I can't really imagine it. Like we don't have a toilet and we don't have a shower and... Mm, we've got used to some home comforts. Yeah, totally. I think it's going to take some getting used to. Sorry, I had to do this angle because my arm is killing me. We had a few different places on our wish list of where we might want to go. Obviously, Scotland is always high up on the list. And then Ireland was like a big contender. But the rain we've had this year, we just thought, let's head south at least a little bit, hopefully avoid some of the rain. Tom's done an incredible job of getting this van to pass the MOT. It failed last Tuesday and there was a lot of things it failed on, but all things that Tom thought he could fix himself. So he ordered all the parts, but he did it in the nick of time. Two days before we have to leave, she passed. There's about a million advisories, but we'll worry about them next year. <laughs> she's got another year in her yet, guys. See what state she's in. It's pretty moldy on the outside. Plus of algae. Aww. Home sweet home. It doesn't look that bad. Considering this van has been sat empty in a field for like four or five months, it doesn't look too bad. Ready? Got my gloves and I'm ready to go. One of our exciting van upgrades is we've got a new toilet. We've got a composting toilet. We've just found out it doesn't quite fit. We're literally one millimeter short of it fitting under our bed. We've been thinking about options and we've decided to just cut the lino so that the toilet fits. Oh, well, the wood underneath doesn't look the nicest, but it could be worse. Why now? <laughs> Would it even fit like this? Oh God, please. It doesn't look like oh, Not quite. Just what you want to see before uh, you head off on a big adventure. You're taking your bed apart. <laughs> okay, after some soaring and some frantic last minute adaptions, Tom, have you managed to fit the toilet? Uh, I don't know if it's going to have messed up the whole bed, so we'll see. But, oh God. Um, basically, I've had to put some little slivers of wood under here and here to try and pull it up a bit. But, um, but the toilet fits. Well done. It's turned into a bit of a mad rush. It's very us <laughs> very to us. Uh, be deciding to get everything ready on the day we're leaving. I'm feeling really excited to be back in the van. It's lovely. It's like, feel, it feels very free. And I think we're very ready for this 
a little adventure together. Just me and Tom in the van, setting off into the sunset. We are going down a pretty potholy road to get to our park up tonight. Back to van life, back to this. It's actually five past 11 now. I'm exhausted, it's way past my bedtime. <laughs> and I haven't been driving. <laughs> I've been, my eyes keep shutting and I keep looking at the time on the maps and like two minutes has passed. So I am so excited to get into bed and properly just sleep. And I'm really excited to get into the van bed. Right. Lizzie, can you help me? Why are you doing the daffodils now? <laughs> it's not very late. I don't want them to die. Well, I'm glad the water works. That's not Jake. Oh, it's really nice to be back in the van. Yeah. And I am so excited for this trip. Me too. I'm actually buzzing. Oh, I'm going to sleep well, I think. So this is a really nice little spot. Uh, we don't really have time to explore it, but it seems like a quite a pretty place. We're just off the road, there's quite a lot of road noise, but we are just straight into the new forest, into some uh, nice rural park up. Right, let's go. We're a little bit behind schedule. Are we? So let's go. All right. Uh, can you hold the camera, please? Portsmouth Harbour. Should I do Portsmouth Ferry Terminal? Yeah. Google Maps has taken us a very like rural, wiggly, windy route, and it's so pretty. I'm loving it. It's nice to it get feels little... like we're already in France. Yeah, it's nice to get an insight into this area, and it's stunning. Yeah, it's so nice. It's like thatch cottages. There's horses everywhere. All over They're the just, road. Like, all, They're just roaming the road. the road. Look. What? Where are we? <laughs> There's just horses everywhere here. Plenty of time and it's a beautiful day. What uh, I'm taking this as a sign for uh, a good trip to come. We've got like the best weather we've had in so long. Yay! I've made us little overnight oat jars to have on the ferry. It's gonna be a good day. Oh. Hi! I've got a. Uh. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. We have made it through passport control. Very easy. Should we have some brekkie? Um, yeah, I could definitely get for another coffee. We arrived at our parking spot last night pretty late and then we left almost as soon as we woke up. We're here, we are here pretty early. We're here on time. We had to be here an hour before and it's an hour before. All right, we're here on you time. You would have been annoyed if we were earlier, if we were later. <laughs> but um, we haven't really had a chance to like enjoy the van yet. So no. when we get into France, I'm really excited just to like have an evening of van life. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be really good. But let me tell you like no, transition moving into the van and sleeping well but like, i slept so well i slept like a yeah, baby but we both have very vivid dreams and we also had a shared dream which was an earthquake and there was um gale force winds last night so i think the van was rocking and it got into our dreams it's weird, it's weird that we both dreamt that it was an earthquake not like being on a ship or something yeah mm. Very, it must be very windy. Weird. Weird. Right. Dream talk, super interesting. Yeah, everyone loves dream talk. Go <laughs> make me a coffee, please. Have you got the keys? No. <laughs> oh my god, why does this always happen to us? Us. Me. Oh, you wanted the coffee, <laughs> I know, I'm joking. It was a successful five minute trip to the back. I made a little coffee. I made two peanut butter sandwiches. It's got some snacks and some water for the ferry. Maybe you can try and drink that now. No, I'll do my best. Yeah. Tough mm -hmm. task. I'm going to tap into my sandwich already. Already? <laughs> my breakfast. What are you going to do for six hours? Eat my overnight eights. Oh, yeah. On we go. Well, in six hours' time, we will be saying bonjour, français. We have boarded, that was so easy, and we're the only ones out on deck. Mesdames, messieurs. Pour des raisons de sécurité, l'accès au garage est strictement interdit durant la traversée. Aussi, nous vous recommandons de prendre avec vous tout ce dont vous pourriez avoir besoin. Merci de votre coopération. This is actually the first time we have left from Portsmouth. In the harbour here, there's all these big military boats and they're kind of interesting to look at. They all got weird gizmos and radar bubbles and stuff.
This is so nice. Uh, the sun is out. We're on like a five hours on the ferry now and uh, just pootling along over to France. I also really enjoyed leaving from Portsmouth. Yeah. Uh, just seeing all the big naval vessels and like all of the military running around like little ants. The weather is such a reflection of my mood. I, I am loving it. I cannot wait for the next like couple of months. We're gonna have a good time. What country are you most excited for? Switzerland. Just because like we've never been there before in the mountains. But yeah. I, I, that doesn't mean I'm wishing it away. Like, I'm so excited to be in France yeah, again. Our plan is to go to Switzerland last, partly for money reasons. And when we were in Norway, we thought it was really expensive and lots of people commented, if you think that's expensive, go to Switzerland. Oh so, gosh, uh, really? Yeah. Have you got any places we need to check out or like any suggestions? Write them in the comments because we will read them and we'll probably end up doing them. So. Yeah, thanks. We appreciate it in advance. France is just coming into view. And this has been the best channel crossing I've ever done. It just feels like incredibly free. It's so yeah. nice, such a nice feeling. Going into Le Havre Harbour. The boat! Woohoo! Mum has found us a spot on Heart for Night next to some picnic tables. This looks like a lovely spot, and we've just got to check now that people can get past all right, because we're just kind of on the road. This is where we are. Little picnic tables. It's gorgeous. This is such a lovely introduction into France. Yeah, people can get past there. No problem. Right, I am starving, so I'm going to get some food on. Tom, are we all right to stay here? I want to. Yes. Food time. Food time. Food time. It feels <sighs> so good. I feel like we're just sliding be... back into van life yeah. like, straight away. It's just natural. I feel like there's like a third person in our relationship who. Yeah. But like, and it is the van. Like, yeah. uh, I've missed it so much. It goes well it? in our relationship, doesn't it? Yeah, I love I it. I think I caught the sun today. Yeah, I think you did. You definitely did. I've been looking at the weather for places we're heading. We were planning on basically bombing it down to the Black Forest and then exploring the Alps and it's minus five and snowing in the Black Forest at the moment. After this winter, I am tempted to try and find a bit more sun. I don't think I'm quite ready to let go of it yet. I know what you mean. Today was so Today was nice. really nice. So yeah, but that's the beauty of van life, right? We can change our you plans. You can just change your plans. Nothing set in stone. Isabel's been cooking, yeah. she's made a curry. Uh, the Starlink is working. We got fast internet. Got a veggie trouble curry. In the middle of nowhere. Can you Ooh. not get it on our nice white linen? Yeah, sure. Good morning, guys. It is a pretty blustery but dry day here in France, and we're very close to Etretat. And from here, you can do a two-hour walk along the cliffs, which is what Etretat is famous for. So. We're going to go and brave the windy weather and go on a big cliff top walk. Yesterday coming in on the ferry, our first glimpse of France were these huge cliffs, this big cliff face, and this is where we are now. We've come up on top of the cliffs at Etretat, they're huge limestone cliffs, and there's lots of sea arches and stuff. Unfortunately, it's pretty windy, so I don't think we'll be flying the drone today, but wow, they wow. look incredible. What I like as well about van, being in the back of the van is you naturally do more exercise. Like we just do walks every day, park up, explore, it's fun. It kind of makes it more dramatic. I like the rain. After the sun of yesterday, we are being pelted now with hailstones. It's quite painful. It has really changed the weather. And uh, I'm feeling more resolute in our decision to find the sun than ever. Oh my word, <laughs> this is crazy. We've come to the viewpoint, but it is freezing. <laughs> and look at me, I'm not wearing the white coat. My wearing coat's underneath, but I was cold, so I wore this jacket and now it's just drenched. 
Worth it though. Cool view. After a fairly brief, very intense hailstorm, we're back to blue skies, but it's just enough to remind us it's not quite summer yet. So unfortunately, the bad weather has followed us to France from the UK. It's raining, it's hailing, it's awful. Just kidding! It's lovely and sunny! Yay! We've come to the south of France. After a slightly wet introduction into France and discovering that there is an Arctic weather front moving into the Alps, we decided to drive due south and we are here in the beautiful south of France. It is so nice, it's sunny, there's blue skies. I think we made the right decision. We had a bit of a monster drive down here, it was about uh, like 14 hours and it was actually a really nice little road trip. Just discovering rural France, driving through medieval villages over mountains and it was great, I had a fantastic time. If you've been in the UK too, you will know how wet this winter has been and we just craved some sunshine and we are like, do you know what, if we can move our van to the south, why wouldn't we? Yeah, so now we're here nestled amongst the vineyards and these big looming rocky pinnacles <laughs> above us. It's just, it feels a world apart and I cannot believe we've driven here in just a couple of days. When we were in Etretat two days ago, we decided, okay, let's do this, let's go south, why not? And me and Tom, we love those spontaneous decisions. They're a little bit crazy sometimes, but they lead us to fun situations. I feel like it's really nostalgic being back in the van. I think because it's, we've had a long break from mm. when we lived in it full time. I feel like we're very quickly getting back into the rhythm of van life. Just remembering how long things take and uh, you really have to just slow down. You have to have patience, it's all part of the fun. Just go oh, slow yeah. and enjoy the ride. It's weird how you can go for so long without living in this van and then it just slots back in, it's like natural to you. I have missed it. It's, it's a freedom that can't be matched. You've got the open road ahead of you. I feel like it's a very special time of our lives to be doing it. Me and Tommy, romanticness, romantic duo on the road. What? You talking about van life? Oh, we just slot back into it. We're amazing at it. <laughs> I, it's just like one of those things, like once you learn how to do it, you just never forget. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I'm an expert at it.